Samsy? Yeah? Question. Okay. Do you know the difference between a caribou and a reindeer? Uh, location. That is partly, yes. Okay. Regional name differences. There's a difference between Europe and North America. Okay. But there is another step mm. farther than that, but also kind of parallel with it. Nope. Domestication. Really? So, and I might mix this up one way or the other, and you guys will <laughs> yell at me in the chat. But yeah, it is, I believe, it, one is the name if it's wild in North America, and then the other if it's domesticated. I'm pretty sure caribou is wild and domesticated is reindeer. That sounds right. I believe so. I believe so. So it's the same animal. <laughs> if you guys are wondering, same animal, different names for domesticated or not, but same, same animal. Today, we are going to go over the company and review for the first time Caribou Beard Company out of Canada. Not only Canada, but they're out of Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada. Wow. Mm -hmm. Any Not to put you on the spot, but any idea Again. where that is? Yeah, it's far east. It is. It's yes. an island, I believe, yeah. right? All the way so the, over. The, aren't there like a bunch of like little it islands looks over there? Beautiful too. Beautiful. One day, one day we will <laughs> we will make that happen. And we are gonna cover this company today, you guys. Go over all the details. If you guys are excited to learn, hit that thumbs up real quick. And we have Several different products to talk about, but we're gonna start with the oils here first today. This is their one ounce oil. It's got this white bottle, pretty unique. Now I like unique bottles. The only mm -hmm. challenge with these kind of ones is that you can't see your oil level. Yeah. So when it gets lower, you just that that can be challenging. My dream world is you have ones that have like the little window on the side. Is that do any of them have? Yeah, yep. Oh, okay. Yep, those I exist didn't know if that for was sure. An option. Yeah, they, they definitely exist. So this bottle goes for $19 US dollars on their Canadian site. So right in that smack dab market average uh, price range. And for the ingredients we have here, we have argan oil, jojoba oil, hemp seed oil, and castor oil. And they're all, they have uh, markings for these organic ingredients on here. Pretty cool. Nice. Solid list, right? Nothing crazy, nothing exotic, nothing bad, just good, tried, true ingredients. And I don't know if you remember this, but obviously I've been trying this company for a couple weeks now. Mm -hmm. The first time I tried them, I even like had to make a point to you, and it was unscented, <laughs> which I have here. And I had to make a point to you to be like, hey, my beard's like looking really good, feeling really <laughs> good today. And so it's actually a Canadian company. And I was like, maybe that sounds bad, but... I just don't get to use a lot of Canadian companies. Yeah. So I thought that was cool. Do you remember that? No. Nope. Up in the bathroom? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I All right. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I thought maybe the Canadian part would have stood out <laughs> to you. So I have been using them. The feel is wonderful. I don't know if it's because I've been using so many like exotic blends and all these wild ingredients, which mm -hmm. I love. And it's like coming back to like the classic. This is kind of where you saw the last previous kind of like 10 years, very, very yeah. solid ingredients. And it worked great. Absolutely no problems. This is a straight up medium viscosity. It's got a nice little golden color to it here. Love, love the color on some beautiful oils. All right. And we're going to go over the scents here first. The first one is unscented. One thing, and this is just a personal preference. If you look on here, take a look at the bottle. Uh -huh. Tell me when you find the scent name. <laughs> this is not a call out for her vision. Okay, a little side. Yeah, thing. so they do have it, and it's not on the front here. You do turn it over, and it is on the side. I would love more of a note right on the front to let people know what the scent is. Or bigger on the side. I, like I agree. Full side width. Yep. And like maybe change the colors like pretty. And these have like slight differences of colors. See, I like this. Do you like that? I like this. This is classy. For and, and I agree with that. But for me, the biggest point is if I have a collection of these and they are sitting on my shelf, I'm going to have to turn it. I'm going to have to turn my head. I'm going to have to really look because it's small. I mean, it, yeah, it is it really is. small on here. Like here's the scent profile. If I, if I have a collection, that's going to take me an extra step or two to figure out which scent it is. So again, just personal preference, just something to consider there uh, for the people that have these. All right, first one is unscented. Okay. Let us know if there's any natural smell or if it's just water. There's a little, like, nuttiness to it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, a little nuttiness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very, very light. I didn't remember <clears throat> any in beard, but... Slight, slight earthiness to that one. All right, first one we have here, no particular order. This one is evergreen. And on the evergreen, I do like in Canada, you're 
required. Uh, so they do list the ingredients for the scents here. Uh, they have cedar wood and fir and balsam for their essential oils. I just think that makes so much sense that you should have to <laughs> <laughs> sense that you should have to list the ingredients that are in there. What if there's an allergy? I know. Welcome I know. to America. Woo! <laughs> Evergreen. Yes. Mm-hmm. Whoo, you're walking through a forest. Yep. Yep. This is evergreen. <laughs> it is a pine tree forest. I have a love-hate relationship with evergreen trees, so I feel like I'm impartial. Yeah, I <laughs> I have come around to love evergreen trees. And I didn't in the beginning of my beard journey, and I don't know if it was like association with you because <laughs> Probably. she She's, are you allergic to them? Like your arms like break out sometimes? Maybe. Yeah, it seems know. like there's some kind of I allergy. I stay away from them. <laughs> she doesn't like the look of them. She like, sh they just offend her. They, they really do. <laughs> <laughs> so this evergreen is just straight up evergreen. Like it smells <laughs> like a pine forest. I'm here for it. I love it. This will likely get up into the upstairs bathroom uh, rotation for if I want to use a random pine scent. All right, next one is dusk. And oh. dusk here is vanilla, patchouli, vetiver, black pepper, bergamot, all essential oils. Ooh. Yeah. Like, Pretty. I hear all those, and I feel like they're always in, um, like, complex scents. Yeah. And it doesn't smell like any of them, so we'll I'm see. curious. We'll see. And it is a kind of, like, general name with dusk. I don't even know yeah. what that's getting at. Hmm. Mm-hmm. It does smell like dust. <laughs> as crazy as that sounds, it does. I don't know what that smells like. Okay. It's like earthy, but like... Did I say vanilla? Yes. Yeah. The patchouli is giving me like hippie vibes yeah, it, it's... and grandma's house vibes. I don't, it's not my favorite. Yeah, I, I try to stay away from the hippie, the hippie patchouli association. But it is. Like, it just <laughs> is. Like, I, I feel like I'm like, I don't want to go back to saying that. But I do. When I smell that, I do smell not potpourri, but like an incense type smell yeah. to it. And I've actually had patchouli recently that I like a lot. I was shocked. You were shocked. And it is a different was thing. Was it in a big old mix of stuff? Um, a couple of them. Yeah. yeah, it was in a couple of them. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this one at all. The vanilla hits you first when you put it in beard. And I did like that. But as the vanilla fades, the patchouli stays, some of the other scents stay. I I don't know how to describe I this. I don't either. It's like a hippie cologne. Like a stale, floral, earthy scent. Yeah, and this largely has to do with our <laughs> preference on patchouli. <laughs> Just so you guys know there. So Dusk isn't for us, but if you have tried it out there and you enjoy it, let us know what you think it smells like. Or even if you don't, what and you don't like it, what does it smell like? Help us out. All right, then the last one is Alpine Breeze. Ooh, Love that I feel name. Like that's gonna be good. Yeah. Okay. So we have here uh, cedarwood, patchouli. Not a good start for you. Uh oh. Spruce. Also not a good start for you. <laughs> Amber. <laughs> right. Uh, Amber's <laughs> back. We should have talked about her on our couples podcast. Like, oh chat. my gosh. Uh, we just did it. So we got a podcast. You guys catch up with the commands. Last week was uh, challenges couples face. Mm -hmm. We should have put Amber in there. Amber. That would have been a good one. All right. Spruce, and then we have frankincense and spearmint. Okay. So, okay, let's give this one a smell. Alpine Breeze. And you can tell this is like a nature type company, all essential oils, oh. caribou. Get a little surprise out of that one. I get, okay, I get like minty, minty, my voice just cracked. <laughs> minty first, and then cedar, but with an earthiness to it. And I don't hate it. Yeah. It's not, I'm not like over the moon with it, but I think it's like a good, unique mint scent. Manly too. It has yeah. like a little manly yeah. spin on it. It is. It's it's just solid. It's not going to be something that you're like, whoa, I've never <laughs> smelled that. But if you like those kind of scents that Sam described, this is going to be for you. This one definitely develops the most in beard throughout the day. That mint falls off in like an hour or two. And then you get the cedar that hangs on literally all day as the scent progresses. It's really nice. Um, that's what I like about essential oils is... The fragrance oils are so controlled, and mm -hmm. you know exactly what it's going to smell like later in the day. Yeah. With these ones, especially, it, it just changes You're and like evolves. On a journey it with is. It. <laughs> it is. And like, I had one recently, not these ones I put in beard. I was blown away, and then by the end of the day, I was over it. 
Interesting. Literally over okay. it. And it like, I felt bad because I gave the company like feedback on it early. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh my God, I love this. <laughs> I'm blown away. Then by the end of the day, I was like, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, earthy type ones. Sam's more of like a cologne gal and yeah. a musk gal. This is just that nature. If I could only keep one, I am going to go either. It would be either unscented or the evergreen. I really like that evergreen over there. But none knocked your socks off? No. Okay. The all last right. one would probably be my favorite out of all of them. Okay. Alpine Breeze. Awesome. All right. They also have a conditioning beard wash. So this is a, a beard wash. I don't think that they're trying to get at like a co-wash or a two-in-one, uh, but I think it's just a really good, solid daily beard wash, which I get asked about all the time in Canada. They don't have as many options in the U.S., at least from my experience and, and what I've seen. So this is a really good option, but yeah, they're very limited. The, the barrier to start a cosmetic company in Canada is much more difficult than in the U.S. Okay. Much, much more. And it's more expensive. There's more regulations. It's it's tough. It's tough. So good, solid, daily beard wash that you guys can use in Canada. All right. And then the last two we have are balm and butter. The balm is a very firm balm. If you are looking for something that's going to give you hold in styling, it will absolutely be balm. Oh my gosh, I was at a beard competition this last weekend and I was talking to a guy and he developed like a mustache wax type product. Okay. And he was like, he was like, yeah, I want to get into other markets. He goes, I actually have a friend who laminates eyebrows for, for ah! a living and she used this and he was explaining how she used it on the eyebrow lamination. The glue, yeah. you hold it down for uh, the perm? I guess so. And I was like, whoa, Most it's so cool. Most people literally use Elmer's glue. Really? That's like all it is in there is just Elmer's glue. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, this is firm. Like, this is a firm, and I believe balms should be firm. If I want softer, I'll go butter. So if you're looking for a firm balm, they got you. If you're looking for something softer, is there butter? And I did want to show you guys this one. Um, it's a full-bodied, full-texture butter. And it does have, you can see on here, yeah. it does have some significant... I don't like using this word too often, but grit to it. It's got a, a little kind of beady, full body texture. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that can be due to shipping, but they sent it from Canada to me in the winter. So I can't imagine there was too much like melting yeah. and re-solidifying. And this could be just how it is. I don't have a problem with it. It melts down, but I just know when you guys get butters, it's some of the feedback I get all the time. Yeah. It's about the grit. And so, yeah, good nature filled fuel <laughs> butter right here. I love it. I'm really digging it. It's cool to have another option in Canada. It's cool to be able to say uh, Newfoundland and Labrador. Like <laughs> that doesn't pop up like on our, our day to day no, thoughts. No, I feel like that might be the first time you've ever said that to me. I think so. I, I think so. Now, if, we, if we're planning a Canada trip and we have the option of going out that way, do you want to go check it out? Have to. I think so. Yeah. I, but why don't we I hear people talk about it? It just seems like I just Maybe looked up Maybe it's like stuff. undiscovered ooh, like, ooh. For, for people in the U.S., yeah. not now, Canadians. Do you have bears? And, and what's Mo moose, moose. Plural? moose plural? All right. Do you have, do you have meese there <laughs> in, like, in Canada? Yeah, I mice. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do want to check it out. I, I think Canada is cool because it's like this huge area for us to explore when we've only done like a blip the, into yeah. – yeah, into, into Toronto. into Toronto. And that's about <laughs> it. You know, like a little bit Niagara into it. Falls. Yeah. So <laughs> definitely going to check out more of Canada. And I appreciate them uh, having awesome options out in Canada. Sam C., anything else for the people? No. No? Well, speaking of Michigan, we're going to go outside today. It's beautiful out here. We, uh, if you guys don't follow our social media, we had a beautiful day on oh my Monday. Gosh. Monday or Tuesday. 74 yeah. degrees. It was 74. Short. February. Beautiful. Well, that night, it dropped down to freezing. Yeah, in the day, 74. At night, it went to freezing below 32 degrees, and we got a tornado. Like, for real, real. That almost hit us. <laughs> it jumped our house <laughs> like crazy. So it's like, we love all this weather, but we're like, don't get yeah, too cold. Like, no. let's not get too crazy let's over here. Let's just stay warm. Yeah. Let's so just be hot. We're going to go get some vitamin D today, <laughs> get out in the sun. And other than that, just want to say thank you, Sam C. Welcome. Super sniffer. First lady of the beard world. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. If you have any experience with this company down below, please leave a comment. If you have questions for them, please do, uh, especially if you're in Canada. I, I know you guys hit me up all the time. Hey, let us know your thoughts and your questions. Thank you guys for watching today. Dancy Bearded, Sam C. Non Bearded, please <laughs> stay positive. And, God, mess. I'm all off here. Oh my gosh. All right, stay bearded and stay positive. Thanks, guys. <laughs>